Hey folks, Steve and Barb Lewis here. Welcome to Outlook for a Brighter Day. Hi everybody. Yes, thanks for tuning in today. Got a great message for you. We're gonna be talking about being the first one to act loving oh. or reach out. Oh. Very important folks. Forgiveness, love, relationship. Yep. Stay tuned. You're gonna love this one. It's gonna be good. Okay, folks, welcome back. Hey, thank you all for tuning in to Outlook for a Brighter Day. We love hearing from you folks. In fact, we saw some wonderful ladies a few weeks ago at the grocery store. It was great to see them. They actually recognized us with our masks on. I mean, I stand out like a sore thumb. I'm six foot five, 300 pounds. Yeah. But they actually spotted my wife first and beautiful comments. Thank you so much for the comments. Yes, thank you. It really is encouraging. It's inspiring, and it's neat uplifting, to know. yes. Yeah, it's neat to know that we're being a blessing to you folks, no matter where you are in the world. Correct. So what are you reading, Mrs. Lewis? Well, I think I'm going to put my specs on mm -hmm. first. Hey, I made sure they were clean today. Hey, also, don't forget, oh, just that? in case Finger we forget. <laughs> yeah, that's for the last show. We just recorded a show. We're doing our second one now. Um, Ooh, also, there's no fingerprints on here. Don't forget to get over to YouTube, folks. YouTube, YouTube it up. Come on, guys. Yep. Get look it up, up there. Outlook for a Brighter Day. Probably look up Stephen Lewis. I'm going to work on figuring out how to change the name. But check us out. Get over to YouTube. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Share, share, share. share, share, share because share, if share. you like it, I'm sure your friends will like it, too. Most definitely. So we're going to talk about today. Be the first one to act loving or reach out. Mm. So this is a good read. I think this is something that we all can benefit from. I yes. know I can. Me too. So many of us hold on to little resentments that have stemmed from an argument, a misunderstanding, the way we're raised, or some other painful event. Stubbornly, we wait for someone else to reach out to us Believing this is the only way that we can forgive or rekindle a friendship or a family relationship. An acquaintance of mine, who health is not very good, recently told me that she hadn't spoken to her son in almost three years. It's a lot of lost time. Yeah. You can't get that back, guys. No, you can't. Three years. The lady asks, why not? She said that she and her son had a disagreement about his wife and that she wouldn't speak to him again unless he called first. When I suggested that she be the one to reach out, she resisted initially and said, I can't do that. He's the one who should apologize. She was literally willing to die before she reached out to her only son. After a little gentle encouragement, however, she decided to be the first one to reach out. To her amazement, her son was grateful for her willingness to call and offered an apology of his own. He'd been probably waiting a long time, but just didn't know where his mom stood with him. As usually this is the case when someone takes the chance and reaches out, everyone wins. It's a win-win. Whenever we hold on to our anger, we turn small stuff into really big stuff mm -hmm. in our minds. Get that? Mm -hmm. In our minds. A rolling ball of snow. We start to believe that our positions, our positions are more important than our happiness. And I'm here to tell you, there's nothing more important than your happiness. Mm. They are not. If you want to be a more peaceful person, you must understand that being right is almost never the important. It's never important, more important than allowing yourself to be happy. The way to be happy is to let go and to reach out. Let others be right. Did you hear that part? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Remember that. The way to be happy is to what? <laughs> Let go. Let go. And reach out. Make that phone call. Not like this, though. Reach out around the throat. And <laughs> it goes on. There's more. There's more goodness here. Mm. 
and let other people be right. Oh, boy. You hear that? Choose your battles Choose wisely, your battles. guys. That's true. That's from me, not the book. Yeah. Choose your battles wisely. Very important. This does not mean that you let somebody else be right that you're wrong. It absolutely does not mean that. Everything will be fine. You'll experience the peace of letting go mm. as well as the joy of letting others be right. You'll also notice that as you reach out and let others be right, they will be less defensive <laughs> and more loving toward who? You. Because they know that you're not always going to want to be right all the time. They might even reach back to you. Mm. But if for some reason they don't, that's okay too. Mm. You'll have the inner satisfaction. You'll have the inner satisfaction. You'll have the inner satisfaction of knowing that you have done your part to create a more loving world. And certainly, you'll be more peaceful mm. yourself. You will be more peaceful Very yourself. Important. Yeah, that uh, that was good. That is good. That was a really good read. Mm -hmm. And I think um, a lot of us can learn from that. A lot of us. Why are you looking at me? We're getting, we get offended so easily. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, yes, no, it, it's, it's true, true though. It's true. We do tend Sometimes to get it's like, okay, Steve. Easy, I know easily that offended. that's that. Barb, I know where those drinks are. I know you got those drinks out of this section at Sam's Club. I remember I got them from the front. Sure enough, guess where they were? In the front. So he was. I apologized. Sure. He told me three times where I got my I told her four times. protein water from. That four to where five. I, I like, where I went and got the protein on. water from. You didn't get it from and there. And so <laughs> I went along with it. I was wrong. He was wrong. Yeah. And he goes, "Where'd you find that?" And I said, "Where I told you I found it the first See, time." See, she had to use the rub in. See, she didn't just go, "Oh, honey, guess what? I found it over here." She goes, "It was where I told you I had said it was." And it was. <laughs> and I was just like, "Yep, I apologize. It was, you win." It was great. Yeah, she was wallowing in it. She was loving it. It was great. You could see it in her face. She had that look. She was prancing with her shoulders all back, walking in the store because she knew she had won the battle. That's right. No, we didn't battle. You know, it was choosing, choosing wisely. You I know, just it's really important. So I just literally like, I just played chess. Yep. Uh, so That's compassion. Important. Yep. So you're reaching out. You showed compassion, and you were the first one to act in a loving way, and you reached out in the right way. Uh -huh. So that's what's important, folks. And, and, and every situation's different. There's going to be some situations is. where you're going to try to reach out and it's just not going to work. 2020 uh, has brought on a lot of challenges that people, families, men, women, children, teenagers have never had to, professionals have never had to deal with before. Mm. And uh, we're dealing with uh, COVID, uh, social isolation. Yeah. Um, we're dealing with staying in our homes all the time and just seeing our few, we call it our bubble, the few people that we see every day yeah. or working with every single day that become your work family. Mm -hmm. You're having to breathe, breathe in um, with a mask on your face all day or whatever your situation be, uh, with the 2020 election. Uh, there's just a lot of things that 2020 has brought on that's creating a lot of stressors mm -hmm. that we haven't had to deal with. So yep. maybe that one little thing like, um, you know, telling S Steve, telling me where I got the water the last time I was in the store. That's when you really have to choose your battles yeah. and say, okay, it's just water. It's just water. That's right. I don't really care. We I know where I got it. I'm not going to make a big scene about it. I'm just, once we're done looking where he thinks it is, I'm just going to walk over and get it where I know I got it. Um, you know, instead of getting mad at your coworkers or your family members or not calling your son for three years, Lord forbid, right. you know, 
past that hurdle. Make peace. Make peace. Show love. In, instead of a stance. Yeah. And you when know? you have those confrontations, take care of them right then and there and don't let it go. You know, kind of like what Barb was reading. And people will have the, more respect for you. Yeah. And overall, you're going to have uh, that that comfort that only you can feel within that money can't buy. Like, whew, I feel so much better over that now that yeah. I talked about that. Yes, and instead usually, of holding it in. And it's usually, usually just a misunderstanding. Yeah. And the other thing I'm going to bring to people's attention, when you're talking to somebody, um, remember, especially out in public or at work, if you take them the wrong way, if you uh, think they may have said something that they didn't say, remember they've got a mask on. So you can't see their expression when they're talking to you. I might say to Steve, if I'm going to you know, playing around, but if he didn't see my face, like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to knock you out <laughs> laughing. Right. But that. if I didn't have, if I had a mask on and he didn't hear my laugh, he wouldn't know that I was actually just kidding around. And sometimes people speak very softly. So with a mask on, you can't always project everything that they're saying. Right. And with that same point, the same thing happens with text messages and things of that nature. Yes. You Good know. point, Steve. Yep, yeah, definitely. I like so that. these are the things that can cause you not to speak to a person anymore. And you have to learn to be the first one that come out and say, hey, listen, we need to work on our relationship if it's salvageable. Sometimes right. it's just not. And and you just go from there. But I've got a Bible verse I want to share. Okay. Um, and it's the same one I shared in the last podcast. It's Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And it says... I'm going to put my glasses on here. <clears throat> but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives because it all flows right back to this. Remember, the title is be the first one to act loving or reach out. Oh, yeah. That's so good. So basically it says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness gentleness and self-control and once again we're right back talking about those same things again those same attributes when you allow those to come out when you step forward and god puts you in certain arenas or even if he doesn't and you're in a situation where you need to show love you need to show yeah. compassion sometimes you just have to remove yourself out of love and sometimes you don't you'll you'll know the situation Mm -hmm. But it's all about showing the love and compassion for one another. Don't be like the mother and the son who didn't talk for three years. Because yes. if someone had passed away without them getting a chance to talk, it would have been devastating. Would have been. Yeah. So our shout out today is to all those out there, especially family members who aren't speaking to one another. Clear the air. We've all had those situations. I've had family members where we had a situation where it was a misunderstanding. One person wasn't talking to everybody and come to find out it was a misunderstanding. It was all cleared up. Thank God for that. But such an easy thing can happen. Yep. Don't waste the day. Tomorrow's not promised to anyone. Make sure you make up, especially family, brothers and sisters, same thing. Talking to a coworker or whatever, texting back and forth. And you thought the person said one thing, throw some smiley faces in there if you have to, right? Yes, I always throw in those smiley faces yeah, hard. Put whatever. a smiley face in there. Show them some emoji, emotions. Emotion. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pray. So, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to share today. Thank you for Barb and I being able to get on here and do our outlook for a brighter day to help people all around the world, including ourselves. Lord, we pray for all those who have broken relationships, especially in family. We pray for those relationships to be mended. We pray for one person to step up and show the love and to reach out to the other so they can get back together. Same thing with marriages, families, and so forth. Forth. So we just thank you for this opportunity, as always, to share around the world. We ask you to bless all those individuals listening to us as well as watching us. Blessings in the name of Jesus on everyone. And we just thank you for these things. In Jesus' precious holy name, amen. amen. Okay, Barb, what is the challenge for the week? Well, there's a couple challenges, I think, that's out there. Uh, one, if you have that that person in your life that you love and you haven't talked to them mm. two months, three months, yeah. three years. That's a good challenge. 
pick up that phone and be the first one because I guarantee that they're waiting for you mm-hmm. to call them on the other end. Yep. And the joy and the relief that they're going to hear just hearing your voice on that phone mm-hmm. and the joy that's going to overcome you is going to be rewarding in itself. And the other number thing, two. number two, is if there's somebody that, y- you know, you guys are just colliding to g- and button heads, take them aside and talk. Uh, don't talk at, at them. them. Talk to them. Talk to them and let them know that. I'm not talking at you. I'm just talking to you. I want you to hear me. I just want this is where I'm standing right now, and this is how I'm feeling, and Sounds and good. I want I want our friendship to be renewed or this misunderstanding mm-hmm. to be understood. Awesome. And resolved. So there's the two challenges, folks. There you hey, go. listen. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, share us on. Get over on YouTube. Look up Stephen Lewis Outlook for a Brighter Day or Stephen Lewis Relevance for today. Right. Get over there on YouTube. We're trying to get folks over that way to subscribe over there, and. Share it as well. Thank you all for tuning in. Love and appreciate you all. Love to hear from you. Looking forward to reading some comments and messages. Yes, don't forget to leave your comments. Yes. Hey. Oh, by the way, Stable Landing hat, folks. Stable Landing Christian clothing. I love Shout my hat. Shout out to Stable yes. Landing. Stable Landing. Check them out, folks. I got some great gear. That's a nice love hat. Love my hat. I love my hat. Ooh. So with that being said, folks, hey. That's pretty nice. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Peace. Peace.